A lot of my books are inspired by my mother and she is from the Philippines and she loves to tell stories. She's a very devout Catholic so I grew up listening to a lot of stories about the saints and she would share these stories with such passion and an underlying uh, morality of course uh, and life lessons that they had to offer and that very much informed specifically Hello Universe, the character of Lola, the grandmother, and her use of folk tales to uh, impart her wisdom on Virgil. And in my other books as well, it's very much mirroring my growing up and hearing, you know, I don't speak Tagalog or any of the dialects, but of course I grew up hearing words peppered here and there. And so that's incorporated in the books and also things like food, which is integral to any culture, um, also prevalent in the books. So, you know, it's very much a reflection of the things I heard, felt, saw growing up. I actually went to Manila for the Readers and Writers Festival and it was my first trip back to the Philippines since my first book, Blackbird Fly, was published in 2015 and I was able to visit schools in Manila. And, you know, there's this, this sense of nervousness at first because I've spoken to um, kids all across America and I've heard from Filipino American uh, families, parents, readers, and it's been really overwhelming. But there's always that question, I wonder how um, Filipinos will react or embrace the books or relate. And one thing that I've absolutely learned as a writer is that uh, when you're writing about real life, real emotions, feelings of loneliness, not fitting in, and otherness, uh, pretty much anyone can relate to them. At least you hope they do, and it seems as if they do. Because no matter the background, we've all experienced what that's like. So when I went to Manila and I spoke to the, the schools there, um, of course, everyone was excited and enthusiastic and so um, appreciative of Filipinos being depicted in literature and celebrating uh, the Filipino-American culture.